Hi guys. Okay, so I thought I would bring you a oh foundation. Here we go. A um a live video. I haven't done one in a really long time, and I wanted to bring you something a little bit different. And today it is the W7 Delicious Palette versus the Modern Renaissance Palette. So the, this is what they look like. This is the W7 one, and this is the modern renaissance do they look similar or do they look similar well you know the answer to that question because i basically just answered it for you so i'm gonna do a get ready with me i've just taken all my makeup off and i'm just gonna reapply some um and then i am mm -hmm. going to um do some swatches etc etc so let's start uh, i'm gonna start with the ordinary foundation this is the coverage foundation in mm. N1.1. This is an amazing foundation, by the way. Really, really good. Just thought I've not actually um, bought a mirror with me. That was good, wasn't it? So I haven't actually put on any primer because I will be taking off my makeup at the end of the, uh, of the, the video. So I'm just going to pop on this foundation, which is the N1.1 Full Coverage Foundation by The Ordinary. And... This is good. It's really good. The finish is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's a really cost effective, I look really white now, don't I, um, foundation. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So hopefully you can see how full coverage it is and how nice it is. Hey, oh, hi, my little prego buddy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so glad that you're here, actually. It's really mm -hmm. nice to see you. Um, so, in fact, Rachel's just uh, messaged me and I want to message her back, but I'm on my phone. So, I'm just going to add this. This is such a flawless foundation. It doesn't last all day. It doesn't claim to either. But if you just keep spraying, fixing spray, it... It does, so there you go. Can I apologize for sort of the messy background? I've got stuff over there on the bench and I've also got stuff over there on, that's Claire's side, but that's my stuff. Whoops. <laughs> she always tells me off because I'm really messy and I leave everything on her side. So I have the uh, Instant Anti-Age um, Age Rewind or the Erase Eye, this is the Brightener, so this is the one, the newer version, and it's like a pinky shade, um, and, well, if you remember from my videos before when I had the original one, I used to think that it was just, I didn't like this spongy thing, I still really don't, but I do actually really like the concealer, so, yeah, I don't know at the moment how to feel about it, but I'm sort of enjoying it, so that'll do. So I'm just applying it to the highlighty points and I'm just gonna add that on. Hopefully my camera isn't going to be too bad and you can see everything. I've got a weird lump on my eye there. My eyes have been so bad lately and it's really, really difficult because Applying makeup has been really hard and it's just been so frustrating. It's been so difficult. So yeah, just so you know. So I'm going to take the Nude by Nature translucent finishing powder. I'm just going to add this actually onto my neck here. Um, I'm going to take the Nude by Nature translucent finishing powder. I love this. What I love about this is that it has this mesh here, which means that just the right amount of product comes out when you need it, but it, it sort of... It's just great, I love it, it's really good. So I'm just gonna take it on this big brush from, where are you from again? Wilco's. Nice big face brush. And I use that to add the powder. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, please do ask. Hi Leah. And then I am going to add my bronzer let me show you this you'll be so impressed with this guys this is the um i heart makeup bronze and glow 
and the bronze. Look how much is left. Hardly anything. Now I, at the moment, I've been using this brush here and I've been sort of pinching it, getting right into where that product is. So it's on my brush like that. And then just adding it onto my contour areas, but sort of blending it upwards and just leaving it as a let's be honest it's just sort of like a subtle contour although that's not very subtle hi Kathy hi Chelsea welcome 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 so I'm just gonna actually bronze my whole face because I love this bronzer it smells like chocolate it's just oh I love it so much I wish sorry I wish it was bronzer this side and highlight that side so there was more bronzer I feel like I should write to Makeup Revolution and just tell them that they need to sort that out because it's sort of a bit backwards having it that way, I think. Okay, and then the blush I'm going to use today, I know I do this in a really weird way, but I have to do it this way. I don't know if anybody else has to do their makeup in the same way. I'm using this little Etude House cookie blusher in the shade Grapefruit Jelly, and it's just a really beautiful peach shade I've got nothing else like it in my collection which is great because it means that I get to use it I only really use it in the summer though so I'm just gonna swipe that on I think it's such a beautiful peach shade so nice really soft really pretty uh Rupert well so we went to the vets last night and basically his SDMA has risen so that's a level in his kidney that is if it's high it means it's early signs of kidney disease but she said it could be a number of things because things because she checked his urine and she said that was perfect and usually if it's raised you'll find other issues in the urine etc etc so yeah i i don't know what to think at the moment we'll see thanks for asking so i'm going to use this new product which i didn't mention but I, I, it's a w7 product i have the other one the Glow Commotion, which is beautiful. This is called Glow Commotion Pink It Up, and it is a pinky highlighter. I've had my finger in it. I haven't actually taken photos like a good blogger yet, but I will do. And I'm just gonna use that on all. Oh. Holy crap. Oh my God. <laughs> I know somebody who would love this. Um, Angelica, I don't know how to say her last name. She's from Sweden and oh my god holy shit balls i probably shouldn't swear on my channel should i that is yeah that is pretty pigmented holy crap so it's a little bit too pigmented so i'm gonna just um blend it a bit because there's a big stripe on my face there whoa that is crazy anyway love that new love it that was i want to say it was 2.99 2.99 well done w7 it is smooth as anything oh i love that that is amazing balls so on to the eyes so i'm gonna take my this is a really battered um take on the day eyeshadow primer and it's from what is your name? I can't remember what her name is. Fergie from Wet n Wild. I got this in a swap with somebody in America ages ago. I've used it so much. It's really, really good. I bought my W7 products from their website. They're selling them online on uh, now. They used to just have stockists. So, yeah. So, taking a bit of the primer and adding it to my eyes. So my eyes aren't going to be very even at the moment, as in they're just not, I need to get like an anti-aging or something to smooth out my eyes because they've been so bad. I really have had issues with them. I don't know whether I've had an allergic reaction to something or what, but I honestly have had really flaky sore eyes, the left one especially, where I had to just not have any makeup on, which was a killer, you know me. Um live first impressions <laughs> they're totally shit shouldn't they that's actually a really good good idea i might have to keep doing them so i've just put that on and so i'm going to take the little 
thing off the top. Now there's no shade names here, but there is a brush. Woo, we get a brush. <laughs> How do we get this out? Oh, right, so we've got a brush. It, oh God, I can't get the bloody thing out. <laughs> Such an old lady. Oh my God, it's so soft. Oh my God, I am actually really shocked. That is a pretty decent double-ended brush. Really soft blending. I'm really excited about the blender. And then a nice, it's sort of, can you see? It's got a little kink in it, to be honest, but nice and dense. This looks like it's gonna be a fave. <laughs> oh, it's nice that everybody's interacting. I'm so happy. Right, so I'm gonna start with, what I'll do is if I talk about each of the palettes, and I'll talk about each of the shades that I'm using as if it was the Anastasia one. So, um, just for comparison, so this is what they look like. The shades in the Anastasia Beverly Hill one is, they are slightly bigger in, and the actual palette is slightly bigger as you can see there. I'm trying not to blind you. The shades look almost identical. I can't see any differences just, you know, from the naked eye. So... I'm gonna just have a go and see. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with my favorite sort of base shade, which is, of course, I have um, need a towel to just switch up my, what's this called, eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use Tempera, which is this light base shade, which I don't know whether you can see, but I have got a big, um, hole in there i've actually hit pan that's so what eye am i going to start with okay anastasia beverly hills will be on this eye and w7 will be on this eye or shall i do it the other way around no start with this side because that's the side i always start on so i'm just going to start with placing the base down now obviously this isn't a first impressions because i have used this palette many times before now where i'm taking this down to um, they are not shy about duping, no, but neither are quite, I think it's a good idea because this is a £41 palette, this was £12.99. I mean, it's not the cheapest palette in the world though, is it? Oh! Okay, so the first thing I notice is that the pigment in the W7 palette seems to be not far off. There's quite a bit of powder, sorry I'm blowing on that and I know I shouldn't. I'm um, just gonna tap that off. But there is in the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So the W7 palette was 12.99. Okay, so, okay. I mean, base shades, when they're like skin tone colored, there isn't really any difference, is there? That is practically identical. Yeah, I think it is quite a lot for, um, for a palette, but, for, Let's see how they perform. So, I'm going to go in with, um, I'm absolutely loving, guys, absolutely loving the Freedom brushes, the eyeshadow brushes. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me which one this is, but this one's like an angled one, and then I've got another one, and honestly, it reminds me of the MAC 217, and it's brilliant. So anyway, that aside, I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre, which is this sort of... Oh, I don't know how to, like a beige colour. This is the Anastasia one. So I'm going to go in with that first and I'm going to lay that on the crease and blend that through. It's quite a strong colour, really. Oh, and there's a lot of fallout just happened here. I need to get rid of that. Oh, I hate fallout, I hate fallout. It's just annoying i know i should probably do my eye makeup first but i just can't do it i just it's just the order i do things in so the shade in the w7 palette i'm going to go in again slight well it kicks up the same amount of dust as the anastasia beverly hills but what it doesn't do is it's sort of smoother in the sense that it's not um making a hole with anastasia you sort of get a hole right let's just see how this shows up just so you know, I am actually, um, I prefer Makeup Revolution because I think they're more cost effective, but this is a, 
out and out dupe really okay the pigmentation's not bad that seems to be again fallout just here maybe it's the brush maybe it's the brush and um, not me maybe it's the brush well the shadows are both powdery i'm just gonna take that off there okay so next i'm gonna go in with burnt orange here and then the the same shade above so let's go in with burnt orange i'm just going to take that below where i've just put that other shadow admittedly i think this one is more pigmented it is the uh anastasia beverly hills side but i think with a bit of work you could probably do okay so i've just placed that underneath just going to wipe that off yeah i can definitely tell a difference so I'm going to go in with the shade in the W7 palette. I wish that they had names. That's a little bit of a disappointment, actually. Oh, okay. That one's much better with pigment. I think the W7 version of Golden Ochre was a little bit less pigmented, but that, yeah, that has definitely proven itself to be more pigmented, I think. Um, oh, I'm just going to wipe that off with my finger. Do you know, the problem is, for both palettes, I shouldn't blow on my palettes, but it's me. It's, I'm using them on me. I'm not using them on anyone else. Next, I'm going to go in with Real Gar, which is this gorgeous burnt orange right at the bottom. I really love this shade. And I'm going to take that just in this part. That's so pigmented and so lovely. And then wipe the brush off so it's clean. Add the, oh, uh, do you know, my, my reactions, my first impression reactions are just like, oh. <laughs> so let's just, oh, wow. Okay, well, that has definitely lived up to expectation. I really like that. The W7 palette is called the Delicious palette and it's called Natural Berry. Natural Berry. The delicious palette. Um, I will do arm swatches after just so it makes it easier. I'm now just going to blend that deeper orange through. So it goes all the way through the crease. And the same on this side. So this is where I think the test is really going to happen. I am going to use that brush that they gave us. Am I? Yeah, I am. I'm going to take that really lovely flat side and I am going to take the shade Primavera, which is the goldy colour. It's, a, a, it's one of the three, well, one of the two really shimmery shades. So I'm going to take that first. These are very soft, very powdery, but they're almost like, if any of you have got the um, oh, Makeup Geek, Foiled shadows, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm gonna take that on the eye. Now look, these always, the pigmentation on these have always impressed me so much. I'm just taking it on the sort of first half of the lid. I love the pigmentation of that. So I'm gonna go in with the other one. I can already tell there's a difference. The shimmer shade in this, it feels soft on the brush. There, it looks pigmented. But it is not the same sort of metallic when the brush is in there. So I'm going, oops. Here we go. Okay. It isn't the same sort of metallic. What a shame. I wish it were, well. Uh, let's just, it's doing all right. Like, in terms of pigmentation, it's just not got the same shine. Oh, what a shame. Because, I mean, if anything, mm -hmm. shimmers are easier to get right. So, I'm going to go in with the shade uh, Venetian Red, which is this one down here. It's like... There's two colours that are very similar. One is a more reddy, one is a more pinky shade, but they look very similar. I'm just going to go in with the W7 brush and I'm going to take that just in the outer 
edge and up into the crease. That is <laughs> stunning. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I really can't fault this blooming palette. It is gorgeous. If you haven't got the um, Anastasia Beverly Hill one and you want it, I definitely would recommend as a palette. It's just really glorious. So I'm just going to wipe down that brush and I'm going to go in with the opposite shade in the W7 palette. And I'm going to take that again. Oh, this is wobbling. There's a lot of fallout as well, which is... That's better. Right, let's try again. It's difficult to hold the mirror. I would say that is pretty good in terms of pigment. I've just, just my application is shocking. For some reason, I've forgotten how to do makeup. But I think... I think the other one's a bit darker. Hmm. Or is it just me? Ah, I tell you what's happened. I think it's this. I think that had some colour left over on it. So when blending it, I think it's um, changed the colour in my crease. That's okay. Yeah, it definitely did have some colour on it and it's because I had some black on it. That was clever, Leah. Why not do a video with dirty brushes? Well done. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with a pencil brush if I can find one. I can't see anything, so I'm a bit blind at the minute. And I'm going to go into Cypress Umbra, which is the Umber, sorry, Cypress Umber, which is this dark, dark brown. I much prefer dark browns to blacks. I know a lot of people prefer blacks, but I prefer dark brown. And I'm just gonna go, wow, Fallout Central here, my dears. That is all over my cheek. And then I'm just gonna take that under the eye as well. Wow. Now that was the, which brush was that? Oh, okay, this is a, that has left a, a load of fallout. What a shame. I've got it all over my face now. And now I'm just wiping off makeup. Oh my God, I hate it when this happens. It's all right, I'll sort it out in a bit. And then I'm gonna go in the opposite shade from W7 on the opposite eye. My hands are cramping up going to take that in there okay this I can tell a difference it's just not as dark um what a shame I mean you could probably build it up again though fallout city there we go I got rid of that that's fine yeah I mean It's not bad though, is it? I mean, it's it's not bad. I, so far, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with the W7 one. So I'm gonna go in with Love Letter and I'm just gonna take that as well underneath the eye, just on top of that brown, um, so I can really bring it together. Oh, wait, I nearly put the wrong palette on that eye. And I'm gonna go, wow, okay, whoa. The pigmentation on that one was, uh, that shocked me, in the W7 palette. So I've just done that, and then I'm going to blend like I've never blended before, apparently. I'm just going to blend at the top here with a MAC, I don't even know what, 224. Honestly, I'm not a massive fan of MAC this MAC brush, it sheds like you wouldn't believe. I'm just gonna blend under the eyes or Okay, so I'm now, I can tell that this one's a bit darker, a bit better blended, but then, you know, it could just be me. It could be my application, it could be me. The now that gold colour has gone. 
What a shame. I am actually really sad about that. I really want it to be bold on the W7 one, but it's just not bold enough for me. Not too bad. It's just not bold enough. So I'm going to just mm -hmm. try and just get all of that from underneath my fucking face. <laughs> Excuse my swearing. So now we have two eyes that are similar-ish. I feel like there's less red on here, so I'm just going to take that brush again, go into, I think it's more me, I think I bl blended it too much, Venetian red, and just add that there. Because I feel like that's where it's a bit different. Yeah, that's a bit better, I think. Okay. Now I'm going to take my favourite eyeliner of all time. And this is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. And I think it's £2.50. Oh, it's bloody brilliant. It's so good. It is one of the best eyeliners out there to do a winged liner. For me, it just works really well. And I love it. I'm just going to add that first. Add the wing first, as usual. And then join it up. It's like a little join the dots there. I know lots of people struggle with this sort of winged liner. And I get it, because it isn't easy. But practice makes permanent, as my viola um, teacher used to say. Do you know what, Victoria? It's just... <laughs> I nearly said you just have to have a wing and a prayer, which is a bit of a pun, really. But it's true, you just have to... Because I can't shut my eyes, because I'm blind if I shut one of them. So I have to do it with my eyes open. It's just one of those things you just learn how to do. The more you practice it. Here we go. I think this sort of dip liner as well just makes it so much easier to do. So much easier. Like, my wing is always good with these liner, uh, nye liners, eyeliners. For a mascara, I am using the Essence Lash Princess. This is a new one. This is the Volume Mascara. It's got a very similar wand to the one from Makeup Revolution, the Viper Mascara. If you're interested, I think I think it might be quite similar. This one, I believe, is £2.50 as well. Might be £3.50, actually. Um, it's quite nice. I prefer the sculpted volume, which is in a purple packet. But I have to say, this one is just as good. And I'm looking forward to trying the green one as well. I would go so far as to say that the Lash Princess mascaras are my holy grail mascaras. They are. I think they're absolutely incredible. And I have tried lots of different mascaras all my life. I'm just going to add some on there. This has got uh, plastic bristles, but the Sculpted Lash has natural bristles and a curved wand, which I love. Um, and I just think it makes my lashes look incredible. Although this one does as well, so maybe it's just the formula, really. Probably the same formula. Um, I find them easy to use. I find them easy to get into the inner corners of the eyes. And I love them. And because of the curve, getting on the bottom lashes as well is pretty simple. For the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to go back to that glow commotion. Whoa, I just knocked you. Sorry, sorry, chaps. Um, and I'm going to go back to that pink, it, what was it? Pink it up, locomotion, and I'm going to take a little teeny tiny brush. She says, I can't see anything, so it's it's a real struggle to see anything because I'm completely blind without my glasses. So I'm just going to take that pink, near, pink it up. I'm just going to pop that on the inner corners. The mascara I got from Wilco's, if you're in the UK, you can get, Essence from Wilk Wilkinson's, Wilco's, used to be Wilkinson's. Add a bit of that there. I'm sure it was £3.50 as well, or something like that. And then, lip shit. <laughs> what are we going to put on our lips? Uh, probably this, I've got a warm eye on, so I'm going to go with the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick. 
<laughs> I love this. It's a really easy colour to wear. Um, I didn't think I would like it. I thought it was a bit too warm. But there is a sort of coolness to it, as you can see. And I think it looks different on everybody. Absolutely different. So that is the final look. So I'm going to go through. I know this is a really long video, but it is live. So that's how, that's how we roll. I'm going to do swatches of all of the colours. So you can see side by side what they look like. So I'm going to start with... Um, God, this is hard actually holding them. What I might do is put the first four on my arm and, and then underneath put the, the next four. So I'm just going to do finger swatches. I hope you don't mind, but it's probably easier to do finger swatches. So I'm going to start with the um, the each the first four, which is tempera, tempera or tem, tem, tempera, golden ochre, and I'll put, leave a gap so I can put the next one. Um, Vermeer, which is the other shimmer, which is stunning. You might not be able to see that. And Buen Fresco, which is a cool toned greyish purple. Let's, here we go. So there's the four, you can't see the first one, but that's okay, it's just as swatches. And then here's the other, palette so this is the w7 palette oh that's not swatching so well on the finger no that's oh no it's got hard pan on <sighs> let's sort this out what's going on here right i'm just gonna have to use this brush right that's that's not gone very well that color on the finger okay the next one is this one, that's not swatching very well, is it? Oh, I'm really disappointed in the swatches. And then the next one is the shimmer shade. That's better, but it's a bit peachier. They're not dissimilar though. That's a bit better actually, thank goodness. And then the final one is this grey shade I mean I mean the comparison in swatches isn't great I I don't think that's very good at all actually I'm, I'm not gonna lie I think that's quite bad what I haven't done is I haven't got something to wipe my arms with here we go I do I'm gonna take that off <laughs> the Anastasia ones have stained my arms, so this is going to be fun because we're getting darker here. Okay, so the next shades in the Anastasia ones are Antique Bronze, which is another sort of satiny shade. It's beautiful all over the eye. I'm going to put that on. And then you've got Love Letter. Oh, look at that. Stunning. It's like a deep... Uh, magenta and then cypress umber they there's a lot of fallout with those there is there really is i'm not going to lie if you're looking for smooth shadows you're not going to get them <gasps> stay my fingers great so trying oh okay that now that is better that is a lot better yes okay Maybe the darker colours are better. Oh, yeah, that is better. Just those light colours that were disappointing. Okay, that is much better. I think that has definitely pulled that back out. I don't know how I'm going to get that out. Off. Oh, my God, it is really staining my arms. I wish I'd bought a, a wipe or something. I hadn't thought about doing that. Oh, well. Oh! Clever me, I did bring cleanser. So I'll just put a bit of cleanser on, on this towel. There we go. Ah, oh, clean arm. Okay, that was clever actually. I'm, I'm impressing myself because I'm not normally that clever. 
Okay, the next four are raw sienna, burnt orange, primavera and red ochre. So we'll start with raw sienna. Oh, lovely. Burnt orange. That is stunning. I'm not swatching this very well, sorry. Primavera, which you saw, I absolutely love. It's a stunning gold colour. Oh, gorgeous. And then red ochre. My goodness, that is beautiful. It's like a gorgeous brownie red. What I didn't do was save where it was. Oh, Leah, you're a silly sausage. <laughs> okay, so... Going with this palette, I've not actually used this shade yet, so hopefully it will come off really nice. This is the Raw Sienna dupe again. Not great. No, the mattes are not swatching as nicely as I would hope. The, the shimmers, I'm not massively impressed. There is so much fallout with those okay the darker shades are better so you've got raw sienna oh god can't remember already let me tell you what they are <gasps> oh no i dropped one right let's start again shall we <laughs> we have what have i just said oh my good lord we have raw sienna and then the w7 dupe really not good Burnt Orange and the W7 dupe, again, not good. But, admittedly, on the eyes, I think they're performing much better with a the brush. Then you've got Primavera, that gorgeous, gorgeous shade there. And Actually, the swatch isn't too bad with the finger, but I don't think it's as good on the eye. And then you have Red Ochre, which has got a much deeper tone to it than the one in the W7, but they swatch really nicely. So, so far, that's good. And then the final three in each palette, once I have found where I've just put that bit of, I don't know what I did with it. That was so daft. Who does that? Who does that? So I'm just gonna, ugh. by the way, I've got the most awful top knot going on because I haven't actually washed my hair in about, four days don't judge me i've been busy <laughs> don't judge me whatever you do please don't judge me right sir final three shades and then i'll give you my final sort of thoughts on the palette so the final three shades i'm getting myself very confused here are who are you uh, venetian red warm taupe and real gar so there's the shades there I can put that palette now down now. So, oh, that is just gorgeous. They are all mattes. They're all smooth. They're all lovely. Let's just hope it's the same in the W7 ones. So you have Venetian Red, whatever that one was, <laughs> and Real Gar. They're not bad. Venetian Red, yep, yeah, lovely. I think I prefer that one. Yeah, okay, better, much better. The darker shades have impressed me more. Um, you know, for 12 99 this is a great palette. 12 99 is expensive for W7, um, admittedly, but it's a Decent palette. I actually think that the formula is different to any of the other ones I've used. I've not usually got on with their palette uh, palettes. Um, and yeah, I don't mind these. I obviously do have the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So final thoughts. Here we go. This is what you want to hear. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the W7 one. If you can afford 41 pounds, if you have that money to spend, I really would highly recommend getting the Anastasia one. I think it is far superior in every way. However, if you can't afford 41 pounds and you want something for almost a quarter of the price, almost, 
then definitely give this a go. The colours are very similar. I have created an eye look which I think looks almost identical to the one. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the W7 and I do think there is some... It's comparable. Um, I think that if you are on a budget and you want to create the looks that people are using this palette for, this palette is amazing. You can get a Makeup Revolution dupe, um, but it's very different. It's got lots of other colours in. This is more, well, it is an exact dupe in every way, um, even down to almost the colour of the packaging, you know, pink, cardboardy type packaging. They're similar in width. They're different in length because this one is bigger. Um, yeah, I do think that they've gone... They've probably gone a bit far in copying, but people can't afford £41 to drop on a palette every time. And, you know, this one for me would probably come away with me because I don't want to take this one away. I'd probably take this one away because then I know that I'd have all the looks that I like in one palette. So I guess that's my final thoughts. If you can afford this, go ahead, give it a buy. I, I really do recommend this palette. I think it's amazing. If not, go for this one if you want to try out all the looks so that's it thank you so so much for watching i know it's been a long one 40 bloody minutes long but i hope that you don't mind and i hope that hopefully this has given you an insight into the palette thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys